The golden age of Hollywood, celebrated for its glamorous stars, iconic films, and pioneering cinema, also harbors one of the darkest chapters in American entertainment history, the Hollywood blacklist. This era, marked by paranoia and political repression, saw the careers of many talented individuals destroyed due to accusations of communist affiliations, forever altering the landscape of the film industry. The origins of the Hollywood blacklist trace back to the late 1940s, during the early stages of the Cold War. The fear of communism, known as the Red Scare, was pervasive across the United States. Amidst this climate of suspicion, the House Un-American Activities Committee focused its attention on Hollywood, believing that communist propaganda could infiltrate American films and influence the public. In 1947, HUAC held highly publicized hearings to investigate alleged communist activities in the film industry. Ten screenwriters and directors, collectively known as the Hollywood Ten, were subpoenaed to testify. These individuals, including Dalton Trumbo and Ring Lardner Jr., refused to answer questions about their political beliefs and associations, invoking their First Amendment rights. Their refusal led to charges of contempt of Congress, resulting in prison sentences and the beginning of the blacklist. Following the hearings, Hollywood executives, under pressure from Hewake and fearful of public backlash, began to compile and enforce a blacklist. This list included actors, writers, directors, and other industry professionals suspected of having communist ties or sympathies. The impact was immediate and devastating. Those blacklisted found themselves unemployable in the industry they had helped build. The criteria for being blacklisted were often arbitrary and based on tenuous evidence. Mere association with known communists, participation in leftist organizations, or previous involvement in political activism could result in blacklisting. The pervasive fear and paranoia led to a culture of suspicion and betrayal, with some individuals naming colleagues to avoid persecution themselves. The blacklist's effect on Hollywood was profound. Creativity and collaboration were stifled, as the industry became a battleground for political ideology. Many blacklisted writers continued to work under pseudonyms, while others left the country to pursue their careers abroad. The emotional and financial toll on those affected was significant, with some never fully recovering their careers or reputations. Despite the oppressive atmosphere, there were moments of defiance and resilience. Dalton Trumbo, one of the most prominent blacklisted writers, continued to write, and eventually won two Academy Awards under pseudonyms. His story, and that of others who fought against the blacklist, serves as a testament to the enduring spirit of artistic expression. The Hollywood blacklist began to lose its grip in the late 1950s and early 1960s as the political climate shifted and public opinion turned against the practice. However, the damage had been done. The blacklist remains a stark reminder of how fear and intolerance can undermine freedom of expression and justice. Today, the Hollywood blacklist is studied as a cautionary tale. It underscores the importance of protecting individual rights and the dangers of allowing political hysteria to dictate cultural expression. The legacies of those who were blacklisted continue to influence Hollywood serving as a powerful reminder of the resilience and courage needed to uphold artistic freedom.